be welcome to a first episode of um, Let me recommend my sources of learning about software development. Um, I thought it might be worth not only sharing what I do and what I think, but also uh, which resources I use for learning or improving my software development skills. So yeah, here's the first one. Um, right about a year ago, when I first started with my YouTube channel, I stumbled across the YouTube channel of James Shore. Uh, James is one of the, the bigger guys in Agile software development. Um, he actually wrote a book about Agile software development, which is called Agile Development, I think. Um, one of the, the main influential books in the area. And he has this YouTube channel... Uh, which mainly consists of one playlist. I'm not exact. I'm, there's a one and two number two playlist for the same thing. I'm not sure why he split it. Maybe there's a limit of 200 videos um, for one playlist. Anyways, uh, so what he does on uh, this video series is he develops um, finance calculation, um, finance planning, tax planning, whatever software for his personal use, so it's a real application domain, and he develops that in Java using an all-test-driven development approach. So, um, yeah, in this first playlist, there's two, 200 videos, each about 10 to 15 minutes, um, which discuss and actually show different aspects of test-driven development in Java. Uh, I really think that's a great source of learning something about TDD, and um, if you're looking into DDD, it might be worth just watch into it, see if you like his style, if you like what he's doing. Uh, I'm sure you can uh, learn something from James Shore. Yeah, that's... Oh, actually, I'm going to add uh, a little more information here. Um, James stopped publishing videos on this channel, I think, about a year ago. Yes, I think this is one of the last videos. Um, he, in the meantime, started another project, which is called Let's Code Test Driven JavaScript. Um, as far as I see, that's a subscription-based paid offer. I didn't look into it so far, but for you guys who are not interested in Java, but maybe in JavaScript, and yeah, JavaScript really needs tests, um, in my opinion. Um, it might be worth having a look there. I think it's not too expensive to actually... Uh, join this JavaScript test-driven uh, development course and then have videos there on that topic. Okay, that's now finally it. I hope you like this um, little pointer. Give it a try and report back to me what you think about James' work. That's it for today from my side and I hope to see you next week.